All right. <laughs> well, that'll be a real uninteresting part of the stream. Um, thanks for letting me know, Alec. So anyway, Alec, as I was saying, how are things in Mother Russia this evening? Are you still in the grips of uh, summertime? This is sort of the most annoying part of the game for me just because I don't have a real good up and over. This is really a game that would be better played with my other stick. Um, right now I'm playing with a Monster Mini Basic. I've got an Epix XJ5000 or XJ500. Oh! Yeah, well, the problem is is that I, I'm, sometimes I hit diagonals when I want to, and then sometimes uh, I don't. And actually, I guess, uh, you know, getting a gate for this stick would, would really not help me. So I guess the broom doesn't really hurt you. It just kind of sweeps you out of the way. Okay. Glad to hear it. I hear the Black Sea is super, super nice in the summertime. Aren't there some resorts over there? All right. Well, um... You know, it's funny. I'm not sure exactly when this game ends. Like, let's see if I just try and kill myself. Um, I believe that I've got, but I've only had one game over so far. There we go. Hey, Duncan. This is a uh, alley cat. So we gotta drink the milk, but not anger the the other cats, and not get swept back up to the. Uh... So it's a game of press your luck, or maybe just like don't. Oh yeah. Alas. Okay, so I've got one one cat left. But yeah, this the jump to get from the diagonal jump is is it's difficult. Oh, there we go. Ah, I do that every single time I see that fishbowl, and I'm like, I'm gonna jump over to it. Okay, this time I will not do that. I mean, this is like a gorf type thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should. You should have nine lives, uh, Ricky. So yeah, Alley Cat. Very, very cool game. Um, and it's by uh, Bill Williams. I wonder if he's a relative of Will Williams, intrepid Amigos fan. All right, moving on to the next game on the list. Let's see if there's anything... Um, 
Let's see. Alternate reality, the city. Okay, so this is a... Um, this is a, a really deep game. I don't know how far we're going to be able to get into this, but uh, we'll, we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Hey, Picard! Yeah, I believe that this got an Amiga release, didn't it, Ricky? I know it came out, at least for the ST. Well, we might not have to worry about it, because I don't see it on my list. So maybe it's for the best. I don't really feel like... Uh, Tackling a uh, an RPG anyway. All right, next up is Archon. So this is one of Aaron's favorites. Um, let's see if they have. Sometimes the ROM version is the one that we want. That'll be the most likely to work. Although in this case, I don't think it's going to. Nope. Yeah, sorry Picard, but it should be up. You can watch it in the archived version. All right. Um, no. I mean, I haven't done anything. Uh, it's, it's all the ISP. It's, you know, they've, uh, they've, um, they hold all the cards. So, but it's, it's doing fine now. Of course, it's also on a Sunday afternoon. Maybe Friday nights are just a busy time. I don't know. Okay, let's try just the first one here. Oh yeah, you weren't kidding, Ricky. Awesome music. All right, I guess it's on. Oh, wow, they all sort of mount up here. Okay, press start when ready. I think I accidentally selected a, uh, yeah, I did. Sorry. Try again. Okay. Computer dark. Now. Yeah, the stripes you see on the screen are just an artifact from the, uh, the, uh, the, the composite signal sent out by the Atari. Really, it's a miracle we're getting. The composite that the Atari sends out is not standard composite. So it's a miracle that this capture card works at all. I, I searched for years to find a capture card that would work. What is better about the Atari version, um, Ricky? Ooh. 
Shapeshifter on shapeshifter action. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Aaron and I are going to have to throw down on this at some point in the next uh, computer club meeting. Oh. Well, things are not going well. Ha! Victory. I mean, uh, the the uh, the 8-bit, the Atari 8-bit system. I mean, because of the uh, the support, especially in Eastern Europe. Um, you know, there's so many undiscovered gems and stuff. Uh, the fact that the the 8-bit is is easier to program for than the later machines uh, meant that so many more games were made. And the ubiquity of the system. I mean, the system ran from 78 until really I mean like I said in Poland and stuff people were still using these as like daily drivers well into the 90s and the fact that Atari never bothered to you know they continued to release uh, the systems all the way up until 87 um, you know without doing anything like the XEGS was the exact same system as the Atari 800 just with more RAM Yeah, I, I don't. That's it. Capture cards are always sort of a, an unknown factor. You just, it's 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 hard to know. It's a lot of trial and error. A lot of messing with sex, um, either the the uh, the software, the capture card software itself, or getting using a program like OBS. Like I'm just feeding this capture card into OBS without using any additional software. Oh, invincibility and death. Yeah, so this is cool, Archon. Oh, it's funny, that was, as soon as I said it, the, the, the box popped up there. All right, so um, yeah, uh, I mean, this is, this is a super fun game, made much more fun, just like Chaos on the Spectrum with another player. So yeah, Aaron and I will definitely have to throw down on this at Computer Club. All right. Next up. Um, we've got Archon 2 Adept. Um, it's funny, you were talking about the Commodore version. It says, oddly, the Commodore 64 lost its graphical advantage over the 400-800 version. The two look pretty much identical this time around. Um, yeah, maybe we'll skip Archon 2 and we'll let Aaron show me how to do that because that, this, looks, this looks complicated. Let's look at um, one of the early arcade ports for the 8-bit for the systems. Let's look at Asteroids. So this is the uh, 2600 style asteroids. Uh, let's see what kind of options we've got here. Wow, we've got four player up to four players. Okay, 
Lone Player Patrol. That looks like what we want. So, much like the 2600 version of Asteroids, um, because you're limited to one button, um, up is your thrust, down is your hyperspace. I, okay, down is your shield. You don't have hyperspace. This is the way I always play. This, the, the screen quickly feel, fills with tiny asteroids and then I die rapidly. Yeah, this is this is not very impressive looking, to be completely honest. Uh, at least the 2600 version, the asteroids were different colors. This is sort of a, a, a very lazy port. Although you know the the Atari 8-bit was sort of plagued with poor ports um, its whole life from the arcade. Um, it got a decent Pac-Man, but not great. Um, um, Space Invaders is a travesty. I think the person that programmed Space Invaders never actually played Space Invaders. It was like, it's like the old analogy on how somebody uh, described Space Invaders to him and he, he, he built it based on that. Oh, that's... Yeah, I always liked the 2600 port of Asteroids. I thought it was cool. I, I like the different color Asteroids. and I mean, this this probably has a better explosion effect. I don't think... I don't even think the Atari 2600 has the explosion, like any, any sort of explosion effect. I think things just split. But sometime it would be fun to do a 2600. I've got some real 2600 hardware. Actually, I've got a 7800 that I've composite modded. Sometime I'll do a real hardware stream of that because I've got a billion 7800 and 2600 cartridges. I mean a billion of them. Including all, almost all of the Activision games. Yeah, this is not great. We will move on. We'll do one more. Okay. Astro Chase. This is a classic. Okay, this is um, a third-party game, and uh, it was the first major release from First Star Software Studio. This is uh, very well known for its uh, intro. I remember thinking this intro just looks so cool back in the day. Um, let's see. Oh, interesting. So you can actually, um, you can hook up two joysticks to this and fire and move independently. That's interesting. This came on both cassette and disc and required 32 kilobytes of RAM to play. So if you had a 400, you were out of luck. Um, But yeah, check this out. I still I still have good memories. This is probably not going to be as cool in real life as it is in my head, but um, but in my mind, this intro is awesome. I don't know if this is this is part. I think I think something might have gone wrong here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, a little bit of a letdown. Let's try again. Let's try. 
try this. It's always good to have five or six different versions of a game. Just make sure you've got a one that works correctly. Okay. Look at that. Nice foley work on the footsteps. That's awesome. I take everything back. This looks just as cool as it did the first time I saw it. A lot of a lot of colors on the screen there too. Unfortunately, once the game starts pixels, it's not not as great. Okay. So in this game, you are basically flying around. Killing stuff. I believe. Actually. I think you're trying to either collect or shoot mines. Maybe you're trying to shoot mines. Okay. So you're basically just trying to get rid of all the mines. Avoid the bad guys. But having, you know, an eight-way, you know, multi-directional scrolling game... For 1982, not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, I did it. No, the earth has been destroyed. I didn't do it. I did the other thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if the 1812 overture is um, appropriate for the, the destruction of the earth. Yeah, that's right, Ricky. There is a there is an arcade version of this game. I want to say that the arcade version looks identical to the um, to the eight bit version too. Like the arcade version looks disappointing, or you, I guess you could say the eight bit version looks amazing. But that's I don't understand exactly why I'm being thwarted. Like. When I come up here, I can't go any further. I guess you're you're limited. Maybe the the world is limited. The the mines are randomly generated, and just some of them you can't get to. Look, at, there's a black hole or something. Well, I feel like you'd have to pixels. I feel like you'd have to have different categories. Because, I mean, there are no, at least that I'm aware of, there's not really any Mario-type, Mario-inspired platformers on the Spectrum. I mean, I'm sure that there are, but they're not, they're not, not really. I mean, um, you, I think you'd have to have different categories, and I don't even know what those categories might be. Oh, okay, so these, I almost didn't see these, but these little, like, cross-shaped stars you can't cross, that's... That's where I was getting hung up earlier. Okay, so the mines do move. You really have to be quick. I was running out of time before. Oh. Okay. Yeah. The 1812. Just what you play when the Earth's destroyed. I do like the fact that once the game starts, the music um, fades a little bit. You know, it's 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 more cinematic that way. Geez, I wish freaking Hall of the Mountain King would have done that on uh, Manic Miner. Yeah. Okay. So there, it does seem to be an edge to the world. Do these things? Okay, they just hurt you. Yeah, I can't get it. Yeah, I don't know what that...
Yeah, this is a fun game. I mean, I'm enjoying myself. I'm gonna do it one more time. Um, I like the planets. I think they're colorful. You know, the enemies are nothing to write home about, but, you know, they're fine. I'm not sure about the black hole. What's up with that? Ah. Alright, yeah. I like this game. I think it's cool. I'm a, I'm a fan of Astro Chase, for sure. Alright guys, that's going to do it for our uh, Atari 1200 XL stream for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these couple games we've had a chance to play. Um, and uh, I'll be back with more stuff. Uh, I think I plugged this on my earlier platformer stream, but Tuesday is going to be the day of streaming this week for me. We'll be doing uh, both the Amigos game and the Iris Sinclair game. And uh, maybe we'll do some more um, Atari stuff. It'll be fun afterwards, sort of a, a bonus. Or maybe I'll do another Adams Family World Record run. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what more goes on. Anyway, see you guys later. Adios.